Hey guys, it's Jen here from Nails by Jen. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review video. I am going to be reviewing one of the Melody Susie e-files. I have been using it now for several months. I have the white one and I'm going to unbox the pink one because originally I wanted the pink one, but it was out of stock by the time I went and bought it. So I purchased the white one. I've been using that one. And then I bought the pink one recently so that I have it as a backup and because I just wanted to have the pink one. So I'm going to unbox the pink one for you guys and show you what all comes in the box. And then I'm going to talk about my thoughts on the product and let you know if I think it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down. So if this is something you're interested in, stick around, keep watching as always. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe for me. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and let's get started. Alright guys, so like I said, I'm going to unbox the pink one for you guys. Now the one that I got is called the Scarlet Nail Drill. So I know that everybody, you know, wants us to make sure we're calling it an e-file. I still call it a drill. For me, it's really not a big deal. In my opinion, it is a drill because I'm pretty sure a drill is something that drills holes in something and we do use them to drill holes in nails because we can sometimes drill little holes to put rings and other little embellishments so technically i feel like it is a drill but the correct term in our industry is an e-file so I've got the Melody Susie Scarlet Nail Drill or E-File. Like I said, I have the white one on my desk. I've been using it now for probably three or four, maybe three months, I think. And um, so I'm going to get to unboxing this pink one. I'm very excited to see. I hope that it's like a very light pink because you guys know I'm a light pink girl. So I will show you everything that comes in the box. So um, it says, what does it say? If you... You're one of the lucky persons invited to test our new product for free. Oh, okay. Well, I'll have to like go check this out. And then you get the little user manual, of course. I love the blush pink color. And what is this? So this is a coupon code for e-file bits. So I could get 20% off if I wanted to order some of their e-file bits. Looks like they've got quite a few, so that's cool. Ooh, you guys, it is the perfect color. It's kind of more of like a peachy pink, which is exactly what my nail room is. So it matches perfectly. All right, so you also get some sanding bands. I don't personally use these um, when I'm working, but I do, I have them from the white one as well. And I keep them um, just because I keep them. You never know, I might need them. And it also comes with a little um, bit kit. So you get some, it looks like they're just, I don't know how to open it, but it looks like there's diamond bits in there. So different um, sizes. Honestly, this one here, if I'm being honest, let me just see if I can open this because I need to show you. I would not use this on a client. Let me just, let me just be real. Can you see, I don't know if it'll focus. Ooh, come on, focus for me. It won't focus. Let's see if I can get it to focus in this camera. Okay, can you see at the top here? Look at how jagged and no. If this is any indication, I'm sorry, Melody Susie, but if this is any indication as to what your bits look like, I would not be purchasing bits from them. So, mm, not okay with that. The other ones seem to be okay. Um, I'll show you the difference between these two. I'm just, I'm just a little shocked, <laughs> to be honest, at how bad that is. So I want to show you these two together. I don't know if you can see. You see how much smoother this one is on the right? Ooh, come on, focus. There we go. See how much smoother? Look at that. Look at the top of this one. It's crazy. Okay, so... We didn't buy the drill or the e-file for the bits, so not a big deal, but if that is any indication as to what their bits look like, I'm gonna say I would have to pass on that, but we'll have to see if I order them. Okay, so first you get your handpiece comes in this box here. 
I will show you that as well. Um, I'm not going to take everything completely out of this box because I already have one on my desk. So I just wanted to show you how it comes packaged and what you all get in the box. And then I will actually show you everything on the white one that's on my desk. So the hand piece is in this little box right here. You also get a foot pedal. You guys, I have never used a foot pedal. I don't know anyone who's ever used the um, foot pedal attachment. I think Back in the day, a lot of ladies who, you know, maybe have been doing nails for 30 years or something like that, or maybe 20 years, maybe they used them back then, but I have never used it. But you do get a foot pedal and then you get your cable, so your adapter, your plug-in, and now it is a little, I don't know what these are called, the little um, port that you use to plug into the actual motor, um, but it's just a little one like that and... I'm going to see if I can get that put back in here. All right. I'll put these little bits that I will not use, probably. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, maybe I need to put those back in first. Yes. It's like a puzzle. Okay. 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 Get it in there. And these on top. And then you get your little motor. Ooh. And this one is a beautiful blush pink oh it's i love this color it is perfect so on the back is where you have your on and um sorry your reverse and forward and then your little um plugins for your foot pedal and your um hand hand piece and such so i just wanted to show you guys how the pink one looks in the camera i don't know if my camera is just the setting is weird or what but um, it's looking really, 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 really light, but it is definitely a nice, soft, peachy pink color. Perfect for my nail room. All right, so I am now going to put everything back in this box. I might keep this coupon code out and this other little card because I want to check out what they've got. And I am going to be putting this away for a day when my white one start, stops working or conks out on me. That's when I will pull out my pink one. So that's going to get put away. Now I want to show you guys the white one. So I'm going to unplug it from because otherwise I won't be able to move it over here. So one thing I will say is the thing that I loved the most about this e-file is the lightness of the handpiece. So I currently have an Erica's, oh my goodness, I can't remember the name of it, you guys. It's not the MT20, it's the one before that. Let me let me do a little bit of research here and see if I can, because it's tucked away right now, but I want to search and see if I can find the name of it. So just give me one sec. Okay, so I figured out what it was called. It is the Erica's ProTec T300. So when I went to purchase a new e-file, um, I was looking at the MT20, but it was, you know, it's a little more expensive. I think I think the MT20 is around $600 Canadian um, at the places that I was looking at. And the T300 was like 475 ish so it was a little bit cheaper. So that's why I went with that one. I've heard wonderful things about the M, the T, the, what is it called? The MT, what did I just call it? The MT20? Oh my gosh, brain fart. Um, the MT20, I've heard amazing things. But I have had the T300 for several years. I also have a Primosa e-file, which I believe I had the Primosa one first, and it stopped working, like the handpiece started acting funny, and I honestly didn't want to bother with sending anything away to have it serviced or fixed, so I just bought the Erica's one. So I have the Primosa and I have the Erica's T300, both with their corresponding hand pieces, and then you guys, I have four other hand pieces that I have purchased over the years. I am extremely hard on my e-files. I file at 100% speed. Most people do not. I do not want to be sitting here filing for hours and hours getting this acrylic off of people's nails. So I use like 4X carbide bits. I file at 100% speed. Now I am not saying that you should do this if you are not comfortable with this. Do not do it, but I go through these e-files like crazy. And I have had 
five of my e-file hand pieces all serviced and fixed and you know made to be perfect and up and running again and I have used and gone through them again and I have only been working for 12 years <laughs> so I kind of did the math on the um, what I have basically spent on the e-files that I currently had um, compared to the Melody Susie one. So the Melody Susie one runs around 75 Canadian dollars, depending on if you get the pink one or the white one, I think. And they also have black. I think the pink one was literally like 50 cents more because it was pink or something. It was not a huge difference at all. So I did the math and basically in 12 years, I spent roughly around 1800 to $1,900 on e-files. Now, if I use the Melody Susie one with the same amount of time, so for 12 years, I could essentially replace my Melody Susie e-file every six months and spend the same amount of money, if that makes sense to you guys. Now, a lot of people are not spending this amount of money on e-files. A lot of people have had their e-files for like 20 years, 12 years, 15 years. They've had the same one. But guys, I'm just hard on them. And I kind of, I mean, if I'm being honest, I kind of like the idea of just having a brand new one every six months if I needed to, if it stopped working. Um, so that being said, I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of insight on cost um, and, you know, what I'm spending now. In no way am I saying that you should buy a Melody Susie instead of an Erica's or a Kiara Sky or a Primosa or, you know, any of the really high end professional ones out there. I really wanted to get a Kiara Sky one, but the cost of that one through the pink chair, I think ends up being with shipping and everything. No, shipping was free. I think with taxes, it came close to like six or $700. I, I can't remember exactly. And that's a huge buy considering I've already spent like eighteen, nineteen hundred dollars $1,900. So like I said, I did a lot of research. I went on to um, Amazon and just Google and I researched and this Melody Susie one came highly recommended. So let's get into showing you a little more detail um, of what it looks like and how it works. So again, the one thing that I am saying is out of all of my hand pieces that I have, which are the high end, more expensive professional hand pieces, this is the lightest hand piece out of all of them. For me, that is a huge deal. I have bad carpal tunnel, like you guys know, I've spoken about it many times. One of the things that I do is I wrap vet tape around the hand piece to make it a little bit bulkier. And it also adds, it also adds grip to the hand piece. So I usually have a piece of vet tape wrapped around here, but it is so light, you guys. Really, really, really light. Okay. So the one thing I wanted to show you, which is a bit different than most hand pieces that I have used, is that it does plug into the back of the motor. So most of our um, e-files, excuse me, I think I said hand piece, but most of our e-files, um, they plug into the front of the e-file. So I would say that that's the only thing that when I first opened it, I was like, oh gosh, that's going to be annoying because it's going to be constantly kind of pulling and turning it around, right? As I'm like using the e-file, it's going to be twisting. But the one thing I will say is the cord on this baby is really, 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 really long. So I don't have an issue with that at all. And my desk is quite long. So it actually sits pretty much almost at the end of my desk and I still have a good reach with this hand piece. It's actually still long, like there's still room for me to move if I, you know, moved down my desk. So the um, hand piece cord is really long. The hand piece itself is really, really, really light. I love that. The other little thing that I like is that it has all of these holes on top for your little e-file bits. So when I pull out all of my e-file bits for each client, I used to just put them on the table or I actually used to put them in my little dappen dish here and just, they would sit in there. And now I put them right on top here. They're ready to go. Now, if you guys have noticed, this hole here is all scraped up. The reason for that is because when I have my 
um, e-file bit into the hand piece and I'm done using it, like say I've debulked with my 4x carbide bit and now I'm going to use my hand file, I will, this hand piece actually sits in the hole. So sometimes because I'm a little quick, this is what I mean when I say I'm hard on things you guys, because sometimes I don't wait for the hand piece to completely stop moving. I mean, I just am, a, you know, I'm like in a rush. Um, no patience, zero. I'm a woman um, and I'm Italian, so zero patience. Um, so I put the hand piece in there and so it's gotten a little scratched up in inside here, but not a big deal. I really don't care. Nobody sees that anyways. So I do love that it sits in there. It's really kind of a handy little thing. It just sits right in top there ready to go so um and it doesn't matter if you have a hand piece or not because if you can see it's actually hollow so no matter if your hand piece is in there or not it will still go all the way down and sit flush and it won't fall out or anything like that i had a lot of issues with my other e-files again um you know they kind of come with those little i don't know what they're called but they're the little the little thing that the hand piece sits in and sometimes it would fall out of there or I would knock it out of there. I don't have that issue with this. Once this baby is in this machine and in its little holder, it just stays there. So we've got that little bit. And then obviously this one has a little turn knob for the speed. So it starts at zero obviously and goes up to 30,000 RPMs. Now I will say when I first started using this, I did feel like it it's, the other two that I have are also 30,000 RPMs, but I did feel at first that this just didn't seem to have maybe quite as much torque. Um, it didn't maybe seem as fast or as aggressive. And because I'm such a rawr, like I want to turn it up all the way and rawr, like right in there. <laughs> um, this just seemed a little gentle, but now that I'm used to it, it works great. I don't have any issues. You guys, I like really, really like this e-file. I am not like, I'm telling you right now, spoiler alert before the end of the video, I'm giving it a two thumbs up. I really, really like it. So one thing I wanted to mention was when I first got, uh, when I first received the white one here that I've been using, there was something kind of funny with the hand piece. It almost would I'd be filing and it would be fine. And then all of a sudden it would almost like catch and it would be like, pip, 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 pip. like it would just kind of make a weird sound. I'm doing all kinds of crazy sounds for you guys today. You're welcome. Um, but yeah, it would just kind of make a really, I don't know. It just seemed like it would catch. So it would be like <laughs> kind of thing. So I emailed the company. Originally they did ask me if I would be willing to pay an $8 um, shipping fee. Um, I emailed them back and asked them if they could explain why I was responsible for the shipping fee simply because I contacted them immediately when it stopped, like when it wasn't working. Um, and then they just sent me a message saying they would send me a new one. They have now sent me a new one. It works fine. It does not vibrate. It is not super loud. I do want to plug it in for you guys and let you hear how loud it is because it is not loud at all. Some of my other ones, you guys... I don't know if it's just because they were so old and what the heck? Oh, here we go. Looking at it in the wrong place. I don't know if it's because they were so old um, and used or what, but some of them were so loud. They vibrated so much, even though I've had them serviced, even though I've had them cleaned. So I'm just going to make sure I've got everything locked in place here. It's got the lock mechanism, like pretty much every hand piece I've ever used. I don't know if any other ones open or close differently than that, but you just turn it to close, turn it to open, pop out your hand, uh, your um, e-file bit. So I'm going to turn it on at full speed, just so you can hear how it is at full speed. I'm going to hold it quite close to the camera because I want you guys to get a good idea. Like that is not loud. Maybe for other people that seems loud. For me and what I've been using for the last 12 years, that is not loud. There is very minimal vibration, very, very minimal vibration. Like, it just basically feels like it's on. It, I wouldn't even say there's a vibration. And it's just so dang light, you guys. It is so stinking light. Now, most people I hear file at like half speed. So I'm going to turn it down to half speed. 
And that's what it sounds like at half speed. Again, really not loud at all. So I'm just going to unplug it again and pull it over here so I can show you guys. And then we've just got the on and off switch right here. So you just turn it on and off. Very, very easy. So one of the other issues that I have with a few of my hand pieces that have been serviced um, is they get hot, right? They get hot as I'm using them. I don't like that. To me, it kind of freaks me out, to be honest, because I'm thinking like, ooh, this thing is about to light on fire. I don't know what is about to happen. I have not had that experience with this one yet. I have not had it heat up. Now I do six clients a day. I do acrylic and I pretty much do full takedowns almost on every client. I would say, well, maybe I'm about 50-50 now because I have been starting to do a lot more um, top designs, which means like you build the acrylic and then you do the color and everything on top. I have been doing, I would say maybe about 50-50, but I'm still doing six clients a day. I use this for debulking. I use this for gel um, polish removal, glitter removal. I use it when I'm doing my cuticle prep work. So it gets used a lot throughout the day and I have not had it heat up yet. This hand piece works great. And to be honest, the other hand piece that I received in the first um, when I first received it that they replaced for me, I still have it. They didn't require me to send it back to them. So it, it still works. It just, like I said, it just kind of had that wonkiness to it. So again, if this one conks out or my pink one, if I start using that one and it conks out, I do have that hand piece as a backup. All right, guys. So all in all, I am definitely giving this e-file two thumbs up. So far, I really, really like it. Cost-wise, you cannot go wrong. $75? I mean, come on. It's You would think that it wouldn't even work or turn on for that cost, but I highly, highly recommend if you are looking for an e-file that is going to be cost-effective and is good quality, this is definitely a good substitute. Again, I am in no way knocking Kiera Sky or any of the big name brands that have beautiful, beautiful e-files that are of very high quality. They are professional e-files. I am not knocking them whatsoever. For me, it just wasn't in my budget. I needed something quick because my Primosa one was conking out. The motor stopped working in my MT300 or whatever it was called, T300, the Erica's one. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, if the Promosa one completely breaks on me, I am pooched. So I had to get on and find something quick that I could afford. And this one has worked very well for me. So you guys, two thumbs up for the Melody Susie Scarlet e-file. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, guys, please share it with someone else. And as always, have an amazing day.